Hello everyone, welcome to another video. It is Francesco here. I hope everyone is doing very well and if you're brand new to the YouTube channel, welcome. It is really fabulous to have you here um, and, and this channel is really uh, aiming to help you find new resources and new tools, but also help you grow your knowledge of existing resources. So if you're brand new and you haven't hit subscribe yet, hit subscribe. It would be great to uh, have you guys uh, follow along with all of the content. If you're a regular, well, we're going to jump into MindMeister today. Now, I know a lot of you guys have uh, explored, you know, visual resources. This, I would say, is a very visual resource. MindMeister essentially allows you to create these mind maps, right? With And you can correlate them to anything. You can correlate them to uh, just a regular visual experience that you want to demonstrate some of your ideas. It could be a brainstorm. It could be a project plan, a to-do list organization chart, uh, you know, meeting or template, anything you like, um, you know, the, the MindMeister experience allows you to encompass that. So here we are on the MindMeister website, uh, and, and the first thing you can do is just start a new mind map. Now, I've actually created one the other day here. It's called YouTube Video Ideas. So I'm going to go into this one. This is sort of your profile. So you'll be able to get uh, my channel here. You can make your mind maps public. There are a few down here. Uh, so in the trending section, so I'll open up one of them and show you a little after you can actually uh, See some of the content. So someone's actually created a life review here uh, that people can go and consume and uh, There's there's many other benefits to using something like this, which is quite cool uh, and, and I like how it's open and in uh, This experience so you can also create folders So there's actually neat ways to organize yourself and when you hit the new mind map area You do have that option and you've got a host of templates in a template in, in a template library uh, so for example you can have project management website planning spot analysis life plan business plan you know there's all different types of ones here they're the, the most the most uh, beneficial ones there's actually a section of productivity here so if i go down to categories um and you can actually choose uh it's just loading it for some reason there we go i was on it uh so you can get a to-do list getting things done simple to do this time management monthly uh, blogging schedule priority and and the cool thing with this resource is you can use it in a different style so let's jump in with the actual resource show you a few of the features and functions and stuff that I think you enjoy so here we are, are on the experience as you can see you can move around on the Mac you just use two fingers and move around you can also pinch in and out on the map Mac 2 uh, so that makes it a lot more functional especially when you're using it in a quick uh, fashion so as you can see, uh, obviously you can start with a centralized item. Uh, I, in, in, let's say I've got, uh, I'm using this to visually organize uh, ideas uh, for the YouTube. So if I press plus, it will automatically add a little uh, entry here. So let's say I want to look at to do to do list uh, to doist uh, as, as as a video idea, or let's Trello, um, and you press enter when you want to add one. So if I wanted to add a subtopic to this. All I have to do is hit tab, which is uh, I think the shift button on the other one, uh, and enter if you want to uh, remove that one. Of course, it didn't have anything in it. So, for example, if I said, you know, I want to do and how to how how I organize my Trello, right? So as you can see, you're starting to get a sort of an idea for how visual the experience is. Here, I can actually create something. I can move it around. I can modify. Uh, you know the uh, sort of like subtasks that are coming in with this uh, and as you can see over here on So as you can see on this side of the thing you can obviously modify a lot of this So, for example if I select this I can make the text bigger I can do any sort of formatting to it I can even add a background as well uh, to that one so if I wanted uh, the, the background to be blue and the text to be white I can do that pretty easily uh, you can also add a photo to it as well so if I wanted to add uh, some sort of iconography uh, or even a video which is pretty impressive so if that's a video of I don't know a bit of Trello content uh, maybe some from Scott Friesen or something like that uh, you can also have down here the ability to make it into a task you can add notes to it uh, you can add comments to it you can add a dislike voting system as well which is quite cool the ability to add a URL attachments and then that's a task area so for example if I want to say okay you know this is 25% done if I click that, as you can see, there's a little like quadrant system here, which indicates visually I've completed that task 25%. And you can also assign it to other people. So if you've got other people you want to add to this, you can do. You can add a priority level. So priority one, I believe, is most important. 
And again, visually, it's a great way to see that really quickly. You can click on that and modify it too. So if you just touch them, they move up one. So, you know, if you, you want to move it down, uh, depending on how you judge, whether you judge priority one as high priority or priority eight. But it goes all the way down to, yes, priority seven. So uh, the more you tap it, the more it gets completed. So that is 75% complete now. You can add a due date to it, to it as well. So, for example, if I add a due date tomorrow, that comes out quite big, which is nice. Um, so that can be seen from quite a distance, which is great. Uh, and as I was mentioning before, you can add all of that uh, information there too. You can also, um, you know, press this little completed uh, button there. Uh, so it sort of gives you, um, I think, automatic assign automatic task for topic which is quite cool so that's a quick one there uh, you can go advanced as well so you can actually add task details start date due date duration you know let's say it's one hour and email reminders as well so it's actually very granular in a sense so if you did want to go in, in huge level of detail you can modify the reminders and information like that so it's not like it, 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 from surface level it looks basic but i guess there's a, a good warrant to use this as a to-do list now, naturally, um, you know, you want to be able to see your, uh, your modifications. So you can see this history view um, of any modifications that actually go back to each version, which is quite nice. I quite like that. Uh, and of course, you can add, uh, you know, these uh, ideas anywhere you like. You can have multiple ones. So let's say how to get started. And you can keep this this going basically um, naturally. If you right click, you can actually edit the caption. You can disconnect it, so you can have it as its own little floater topic. There we go. Useful keyboard shortcuts. So there are keyboard shortcuts to this to make it a little more uh, intensive. Uh, you can obviously add tools from here, so you can create as maps. So you can actually create an intricate map out of this one. Link to map split into topics, um, and you know obviously that is uh, an ability to modify there. Now, there's another cool function inside here. So, for example, if I'm in here, uh, you can also uh, get some pre-created uh, setups and actually have a different visual to the flowchart. So, if you if you want to really customize it, there is a customization option where you can actually like really change the shape and detail of the, each one. So, you can really customize everything here. And this is all in the uh, premium account, which I'll explain at the end. Now, when it comes to like uh, being able to manage tasks, you can actually correlate it to a Meister task project. For those who don't know Meister task, I will actually share uh, my video on it. Uh, I probably need to do a revised review on it anyway. Uh, so you can actually share and correlate tasks directly to there, which is quite nice. So if you want to have one visual way of doing something and then to like import them to another experience, that's great. You can also, uh, you know, slide share, which is quite nice and auto present. Uh, this is almost like um, I'm trying to think of Pre Pre Prezo, but yeah, Prez Prezi, Prezi, the uh, visual visual uh, PowerPoint software. So that is a potential there. Now in the corner, you can actually download it as a PDF uh, and any other format, down uh, document, RTF, um, uh, Microsoft Word, and PowerPoint is also the image, which is quite nice, and any other mind mapping format. Free Mind, Mind Manager, X Mind. So there's actually good potential to export. Up here, you've got some of the functions you can actually search, which is quite nice. So, for example, if I search for Trello, obviously that would come up too. And up here, uh, you can modify and jump to, between uh, items. So there is a, a good experience here. Uh, it's very easy to get on with. You can share it straight away. So you can copy it to other people that don't necessarily have access to MindMeister so they can visually see it or you can invite other people uh, via the editing tool and social media. So it's actually a cool way uh, to visualize everything and get sort of things down, which is quite nice. Now here's a sort of, a, a, not an exaggerated way, but fully used way uh, that someone's taken advantage of this. And as you can see, someone's used it to summarize a book, uh, the, the Seven Habits of Highly Successful People. Uh, and obviously this was done a couple of years ago, but it's been consumed quite a lot. Uh, and obviously, uh, it's a full example of how someone's used this. Now, of course, you can share links. So, you know, this is someone that's opened uh, up uh, an Amazon link, which is quite nice. Uh, again, very easy to start and very easy to get on with. And there's plenty of those here. So let's just click on the life review one, which is another one which might interest you. It's a template. Again, the templates might just get you started with a lot of stuff in case you are worried about uh, you know, things like that. So here, this is quite nice. Uh, so if you're interested in 
a life review, this could be uh, of interest to you. I might do a separate video on this because this actually looks quite cool. Uh, you know, missing links, what skills am I lacking? You know, things like that. It will give you a full audit of your routine. So as you can see, MindMeister seems to be a pretty um, well-created tool. It does uh, a good job at bringing everything together. Um, again, I would say this is really for someone more visual, more creative. If you're someone that likes to stick to list, likes to see your next up tasks, like do tasks and things like that without him trying to find them, then this might not be for you. Uh, you know, for example, I wouldn't use this as my to-do list, but I might use it as a way to like plot down ideas and sort of have something quite visual in the background. Um, it probably wouldn't be something I you know, get tasks from. But again, if you're a Meister task user, this might be a good purchase because it's an additional experience. It will add some of the, it will input tasks and export tasks uh, either way. So that's a positive experience. So here we are on the pricing. Uh, now, basic is something that you'll probably start out with. It's up to three mind maps. You get most of the functionality, but when it comes to the history, the uploading files, chat, task, live in bed, uh, you don't get any of that and some of the additional advanced functions. However, it is free. Pricing per month for the personal account, which is for individuals and teams, um, you get a lot more storage, you get unlimited amount of mind maps and a lot more sort of chat functionality. $5.99 a month, which is about seven, eight dollars per month per user. And again, Pro is priced at around 10 pound, which is 13, 14, 15 dollars per month. Uh, I'll include the information description for your country. And then there's business, which goes into a lot more detail. So in terms of uh, the, the MindMeister experience, it seems to be pretty functional um, and pretty easy to use. Uh, I recommend it again for more creative experiences. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this feature on MindMeister. I'll include a link in the description uh, to access MindMeister uh, so that you can go and download it for yourself, have a play around. Um, and I'll include any other notes on pricing there too. Um, if you have any thoughts on the way you visually organize stuff, I'd love to hear that in the comments. If you like this video, hit the like button. Again, I wanna try and grow the YouTube as much as possible. So feel free to hit the like, share, and meet the community members here uh, in the comments below. I'm sure you'll really enjoy it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Looking forward to seeing you and catching up with you soon. Make sure to have a great day, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.